how to make AI images and how to download Stable Diffusion so you can create your own images for free. It's fast. It's locally run, so it's private. All the files are kept on your PC in the local host. So it ticks all the four boxes. It's fast, it's free, it's private, and it's easy. So I'm going to show you how to set up the easy one-click install, and it's called Easy Diffusion. So literally, just type Easy Diffusion into Google, and then type this URL in if you're not finding this web page. Click Download then whatever operating system you're running on, just double check, and then check your system requirements as well. So you need eight gig of RAM and 20 gig of disk space, and you need an Nvidia graphics card and just all this stuff. So double check you've got this, click download for Windows or whichever one you are. Once you've got that, you'll find it in your downloads. Then just double click it, run through the installation. It's going to take a while to set up because it does. It's got to unpack things, it's got to update things, it's got to download things. So be patient while it's unloading. Save it somewhere where you've got a lot of space. I save mine onto my D drive. So then I made a little AI folder and then I just dumped it all in here. So once you're onto this step, double click Start Stable Diffusion. And the same thing's going to happen. It's going to download a lot of things. It's going to unpack everything. It's going to update things. So just go make a brew, come back. And when you do come back, hopefully, you'll have this loaded up on your PC. So it opens your web browser, and it runs a local host. So everything you make here is just hosted on your PC. Um, so once this is working and this is loaded, you can kind of just like hit the ground running and have fun. Like you could play with a stable diffusion model, but... If you want to create better images than the standard, like you want to go the extra mile, um, you can download models and you can download LoRa's. So I'll show you how to do that. And then essentially you can do whatever you want then. Like it's, it unlocks most of the things that you're, you're trying to achieve with creating like AI art and free image generation. So type in civitai.com and we're going to be looking at base models to start with. So one I would recommend is Dream Shaper. It's like the highest rated. Uh, it's most. It's the most popular one currently, um, and it gives you really good results for really simple prompts. So essentially, it's just a mod pack that makes your pictures better. Like that's all you need to worry about. It's two gig, but by downloading this, you just fine tune um, Stable Diffusion and you make it produce much better images than the default. Although stability, what is it, 0 0.9 literally came out like 10 hours ago. So I've not had a play with this yet, but you can see like what it's creating. So who knows, I might be dabbling with that later and I might be making a new tutorial for that after I have a play. Uh, but yeah, we'll move on. Once you've downloaded your model, you can also download LoRa's, which is more specific. So you can download like an art style, like this one is the Arcane style from the, the League of Legends series. You could download like certain poses, so you can make like whatever your model you're using, you can make them like pose in a certain way, blah, blah, blah. Click download. Once you've got them, you need to go back to your downloads folder and you need to drag them into your models folder. If you downloaded the LoRa, drag it into the LoRa. If you downloaded a model, so if I downloaded Dream Shaper, I would drag it into this stable diffusion one. So put it in there. And that's literally everything. Restart this. Um, and it will be loaded here in the model section. So um, literally just click the drop down, select what model you've downloaded. And then you've got some other fun things on the left that I'll make a more detailed video explaining like how to build proper prompts, like the negative prompts, the initial image, all this stuff. And I'll explain the settings in greater detail, but essentially for your default, for you, it's going to say 25 inference steps. Just leave it on that for now, just to, to get the ball rolling. Try and get images going first, and then, like, boost all these. So I'll start with, like, 80 image quality. I'll start with, like, um, I'll never really go above 512 by 768, like, or 768 by 512, because you can just upscale things. So a lot of people just make loads of 512 by 512, and then they'll upscale it to, like, 1024 or 1024 and um, so you just hover over this and you've got options so you've got like 
download image, make similar images. So that'll make five more like this image. Draw another 25 steps, which will just make it more detailed. Or you can upscale it. Fixed faces uh, doesn't work a lot of the times, but you can try it. Upscale is what a lot of people do. So um, that's a quick brief touch on this. Like just copy my settings if you want to produce similar results. The more you boost these, the slower your PC is going to take to create them, but the more detail you're going to get. So it's like a trade-off. And literally, that's it. So you can just queue these up. And get them going but I'm going to show you how to create better prompts and uh, how to mass produce things and how to just just I'm going to show you a workflow that's nice and easy so let me know what else you want to see love you all hasta la vista peace